So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a new style to use for your points. And the example that I'm going to use is to show you how to make a new point style to apply to the description lamp. It's probably not very realistic to show a lamp as just a, an X on your drawing. It's The X is kind of a default point style. So I'm going to show you how to create a new point style and apply that to all of the descriptions that are called lamp. So the first stage is to create a block. So I'm just going to go out here where I've got a little bit of drawing space and I'm just going to draw a circle. Now it doesn't matter what radius I, I make it, but this circle is going to represent the pole of the lamp post. So I'll make it something like uh, 0.25 of a meter. And then what I want to do is to draw a line from the center of that circle straight up the page. Now this line is going to represent the arm. What we're looking at here is the plan view of a street light. So the arm coming out from the top of the pole um, it's going to vary in different situations anything from a couple of hundred mil up to a couple of meters. So I'll make this one uh, one meter long and then at the top of that line I'm going to draw another circle and this circle is going to represent the housing for the uh, bulb itself. So I'll make that 0.15 of a meter. Now that's very, very basic plan view of a street light. The bottom circle representing the pole, the line representing the arm, and the smaller circle representing the bulb housing. So we need to make a block out of that. So the command to make a block is just type in W on the command line and press enter. We want to make um, a block from objects, so we need to select the objects first of all. So I'll just draw a box over them and press enter. Uh, the big pick point for insertion, uh, well, we'll probably use the center point of the pole as the insertion point, like that. And we need to rename it. Now I've already got a couple of blocks in here that I've called lamp, so I'm going to call this one lamp 3. And go OK. And include the information. Now that has made a block called lamp 3 and we want to apply that now into our drawing over here. So first thing we need to do on our tool space is come to the settings tab and yours will probably look something like this when you open it up first. So expand on point, expand point styles and we want to make a new style. We've got lots of different ones here. Now I've got lamppost 2 and I've got lamppost in here already from before, but I want to show you how to make those from scratch. So on point styles, select the word point styles, then do a right click and go new. And here we're going to create a new point style. So the first thing we need to do is to give it a name. So click on information and we're going to call this one lamp 3. The marker then, do we want to use the normal uh, markers that AutoCAD have given us or do we want to use an AutoCAD block? Well, we want to use an AutoCAD block, so we click on that and when you scroll across here you will see all of the available blocks uh, are in this box. Now the one we want to use is called Lamp 3. You get a little preview of it coming up over here and that will do for now. You don't need to worry about any of the other settings up here just yet. So go OK to that. That has now made a lamp, uh, sorry, has made a point style called lamp 3. So come back to our prospector now for a second. And if we want to convert this point style here into our lamp, do a, a select it first of all, then do a right click and come to properties. There are a few different ways of doing this, but this is the one that I just want to show you. And across from where it says style instead of having the default click on that click on the drop down menu and now you can see lamp 3 is there on the list and close that down and press escape and now you'll see that the point symbol is no longer the X shape it's the diagram showing the uh, the outline of a lamp post. So that's one way of doing it and you can do that on an individual basis to any number of points that you like uh, one by one. Now there is a second way of doing it which should be a little bit quicker and that's where we select all of the points that have been called lamp and kind of make changes to them uh, in one big batch if you like. So that's done by coming into points over here 
and I'm just going to make the tool space a little bit larger so we can see what's going on and on your tool space uh, if you click on raw description the word raw description up here it will sort these into alphabetical order so when I click this down here now you can see the Ashfall curve is the first on the list quite a lot of that and I'm just going to hold the mouse down scrolling down through it you should see B wall coming up now in a second there we go in raw description so it's alphabetical so I'm just going to do this a little bit quicker and just going to scroll down here until until I find lamp okay and there we go there's our first lamp there now so we select that point by clicking over here and what I need to do is to scroll down until we come to the last of the lamps and before I click on the last of the lamps what I want to do is hold down the shift key and then click on the last of the lamp buttons and that will highlight all of the descriptions called lamp so if I do a right click now they've all been selected do a right click now and come to edit points what I want to do is to change the style of these at the moment so if I cro if I slide across over here you can see that all of the all of the points that are in this little prospector or sorry panorama window are all the lamp posts okay there's nothing in here about ground or bottom of wall or anything like that and what I need to do if I scroll across here you will see one of the options near the top is for style okay and that will allow me to apply different styles to uh, all of those points all in one go so what I need to do is again click on the top one scroll down to the bottom hold down the shift key and click on the bottom one so that they're all selected scroll across here to style change to uh, lamp 3 and go OK now what I've done there I've actually accidentally come out of uh, having all of them selected all I've done is I've individually changed that lamp to style number lamp 3 I can do I just show you you can do it individually like that if you double click in there change it to lamp 3 that will change to lamp 3 as well but what I wanted to show you was how to do it all in one go so I'm going to try that again click on the top one scroll down hold down the shift key and click on the bottom one scroll over here click on the style lamp 3 uh, still not working for me oh there we go there we go what we do what we need to do is uh, do a right click on the word style go edit select the point style we want from the list it's lamp 3 and go OK and lamp 3 now populates the full list so just to recap on that I didn't actually need to select them all again here all I needed to do was to come over to style do a right click on it go edit and select the point style I wanted it from the list lamp 3 and go OK and I close that now what I should find is everywhere that the description lamp has been used on the drawing I should have that symbol in there now okay so you can see it there you can see it there okay so they can be done one by one just by selecting them individually but they can be done by selecting them from your point list down at the bottom left and edit editing a number of them in one go